Hey guys, welcome back. First of all, Happy New Year. This is the first video that I'm filming in the new year. New year, same me. Still trying to be the best version of myself though. Gotta keep working on yourself, but doesn't mean you have to change your whole self. So today I'm bringing you a braces vlog. This time, like I promised in my last braces vlog, I was like, I'm gonna get on my grind, I'm gonna film like the whole appointment and everything. Your girl came through. I filmed every single thing, so I'm basically gonna show you guys what they did. And I'm gonna show you guys how they're closing my tooth gap right here. So if you've been following my journey, y'all know I had a palatal expander and it caused a huge gap between my teeth and they closed the one that was in the middle but now they're trying to close the one that's on the side right here I asked them when do you think my gap's gonna be completely closed and they're like probably after next appointment so really really excited I'm just I really just want my teeth to be like all white. I don't want no black spots because personally I just don't like it on myself but I mean there's some people that have teeth gaps and it actually looks cute on them. I don't think I'm one of them personally but kind of have no choice to rock it right. Some people comment on my videos and they're like oh my god I would hate to have that gap. Like how do you get used to it? And I'm just like you literally just have to get used to it. Like there's no other way but because of COVID and everything, we have to wear masks, so like I can kind of get away with it, but in the beginning when my gap was huge, like this is nothing compared to when it was huge, and when it was huge, I had to go in public, I had to do oral presentations in college with a huge tooth gap, alright? If I can do that, y'all can walk in public with your gap, and literally who cares what people think, like I could not care less what people tell me, because I know who the hell I am. If you think my gap looks weird, like... So previously, before this appointment, I had purple elastics because I was trying to match my hair at the time. Now my hair is kind of like, it's like almost turning gray. It's like a purplish denim blue, but in this lighting, it really looks silver almost. Now I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do baby pink. I'm trying to go for that soft got look. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird, but I also want to match my room. <laughs> By the way, new video coming up. I'm doing a whole 2021 room transformation. It's going to be just like a little sneak peek. I'm going to tell you guys. It's going to be like a black and pink theme coming soon. But uh, yeah, basically for the occasion, I decided I want pale pink elastics in my mount too. So I'm going to show you guys what my teeth look like right now and I'm going to explain what they did afterwards. Also I know you can see me in the mirror in the back and it's kind of distracting to me but hopefully this does not distract you like it does to me. So they basically did the same thing that they did last appointment, which is changing all my power chains like they always do and they replaced it this time with pale pink power chains. But the difference is they added something to quicken the process of closing my gap right here. I don't know if you guys remember, but when they were trying to close the gap in the middle here, they had to do a figure eight around these two teeth and it's still there. Probably can't see it though. So they did the exact same thing right here. They added some type of string and did a figure eight to close that gap quicker. So if you're wondering how they're closing my gap, they've been gradually closing it with the help of power chains, but now this time they added the string and did a figure eight around these two teeth where the gap is and 
they have power chains on top of that so that's how it's gonna close faster for those asking like why can't they just do that to begin with to just close it real quick they don't want to close it too quick because it's not good to do that they said it could damage like the nerves or whatnot I'm not a hundred percent sure but I do know that they can't just close gaps like in a day you know they have to do it gradually over a period of time. So that's why my appointments are like every four weeks. As for this tooth that they're trying to rotate, it's still in the process. I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like right now. As for my bite, I'm noticing that my underbite is showing even more but like I said in my last video it's all part of the process as of now my priority is for my gap to fully close and then after that I will finally finally film the video of my whole Sarpe surgery slash palatal expander experience because I want to show people like the end result it's not yet the end because I still have a double jaw surgery to do but I do want to show people like once your gap is closed and everything what it looks like for me so yeah I didn't want to film it yet until my gap is closed so I have kind of like a end result to show you guys and work with so don't worry I didn't forget I got you guys so I decided I'm not gonna film another braces vlog until my gap closes just because it's kind of getting repetitive like they pretty much do the same thing every appointment is change my power chains and this appointment was the only like new thing per se is that they added a string to close the gap faster but um yeah just a heads up gonna focus on different types of videos for the time being but as soon as this freaking gap closes, you best believe I'm going to show you, you know, a before when my gap was huge versus when my gap finally closes. So I'm guessing that will be in like a month or so. Hang tight and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what they did today. Are you recording right now? Uh, yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you can put me on YouTube like that. Looking like a, a fool. So for colors, this is the light pink, but I don't have anything that matches. Okay, I'll take the light pink and like you can put the darker pink as the elastic. So that was literally everything that they did today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like me and my videos, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And leave a like, a comment, it really helps me out. I'm trying to grow my channel. And if you really like me and you want to see more of me, then you can follow me on my Instagram. Not teat related, but 
it's just kind of inside of my life I guess you could say. So yeah that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you liked this video and stay tuned for the next. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.